Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Khalees and today we're going to be doing an HBCU try on haul. If you guys did not know, I'll be going to the illustrious Delaware State University. Um, before we get into this video, I just want to make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share the video with your friends. And don't forget to follow me on all social media. That includes Snapchat, Instagram, and also TikTok. Any HBCU essentials that you guys can think of, I got it from the sneakers to the clothes to the bags. Without further ado, let's just get into this video. We're going to start with Fashion Nova. So this is the first pair of shorts that I bought. This is from Fashion Nova. All links for all the clothes will be in the description box. Um, these are a little baggy than I thought. But I mean, if I wear like a really tight top and have it open, I feel like it could work. But I don't know. I give this like a calm 5 out of 10 just because like, yeah, it's really big. This is the second pair of pants that I have, and I just want to say I like the way that it fits my waist. That's good that the last pants did not do, but these pants are really long, like it's covering my foot. Um, I feel like I would have to see what I would wear with this, but as of right now, I don't really know how I feel about it. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. This is our third pair of pants, and just to start off, I love the way it fits my waist. Um, all of these pants are in a size 0. Um, it is a really good length. They're cuffed at the bottom. Um, I love this color. I already know what fit I have planned with this. Um, so I definitely love these pants. It has this rip right here. So I definitely give this like an 8.5 out of 10. So this is the next pair of pants that I have. These are just some basic tight skinny jeans. They are all gray. And I like the way that they fit. They fit my waist really nice. It's really like snug. They're not bagging any kind of way. Um, I don't know I really wear skinny jeans anymore, but you never know what you need it for, a quick job interview, or just for anything. So I give this a 8 out of 10. This is the next pair of pants that I got. Um, once again, fits my waist nicely. They are cuffed at the bottom. Um, but I don't know how I feel about it because I feel like it's giving cow, and I don't really want to give cow. So I would have to see what I can really put together with this. But I give this a 6 out of 10. I have another pair of skinny jeans. Um, these are very simple. They have like a little bit of rips in them. Not too much going on. Um, they fit nice. They fit my waist. They're nice and tight. Um, it's just a really simple piece. I would give these a 8 out of 10. So these are the next pants that I got. Hugs my waist really nice. Um, these have rips in it. They have one right here. There's one right here on the knee. There's also one on this side. And then the bottom of it kind of like flares up, which I really like. So these are actually one of my favorites. And I'm going to give this like a 9.5 out of 10. So this is the next pair of pants that we have. Um, first thing that I noticed, this one is not as fitting on the waist as I would like it to be. But this pair of pants has a really nice design. Um, all on this leg, it's all graphic, black and white and everything. Also on this pocket here and on this back pocket as well. And then this side is all nice and straight. So I do really like these pants. I'll just have to figure something out on the waist part because I think I could really style these in a nice way. These are the next pair of pants that I have and I actually really like these. So starting off first, hugs the waist really nice and they're actually fit nice and tight. So this um, left side, it looks like this. There's a rip right here and it has patches all along. And then the right side has a couple more rips. And it also has patches. There's patches all around the pants. They go all the way down. And I actually really like these. They're different. I wish I could have find a style just like this but baggy. But I also really like the skinny as well. So these is the last pair from Fashion Nova. Honestly, my favorite out of all of them. Hugs the waist really nice. These are flare pants, so it flares at the end. I love the way that these feel. These definitely get a 10 out of 10, for sure. Good way to end off the Fashion Nova side. All right, that was all of my pants from Fashion Nova. Now I'm gonna move over to Pretty Little Thing. I only got about five items from them, so that one's gonna be quick, and then we're gonna go right to the sneakers. So the first top that I got from Pretty Little Thing is this bodysuit right here. Um, 
First thing that I don't like is the fact that it is see-through. So I um, don't know how I feel about that one, but it's just this blue um, bodysuit. It has a bit of orange in it. Um, it's like a mesh material. I give it a 7 out of 10. Just don't like the fact that it is see-through. So this is another one of the shirts that I got from Pretty Little Thing. It's just this off-the-shoulder black top. It ties here in the front, and this is how the back side looks. Definitely one of my favorites from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I give this a 9.5 out of 10. So this is the next item that I have from Pretty Little Thing. And first thing that I don't like is this part does look a little bit weird because I'm very flat chested. So it's like really baggy on the sides. Um, but it goes right here over um, your head and it ties in the back. It's also flared at the bottom. Um, but... Overall, besides this little part right here, I would give this jumpsuit a 8.5 out of 10 because it gives me almost 90s style, so it will be perfect for a party like that. Alright, so now that we're done with Fashion Nova and we are done with Pretty Little Thing, we're going to move right over to the shoes. So, the first two shoes that I got are going to be the bubble slides, of course. I got the lavender ones that are closed at the top, and I also got the pink ones which are open. These, in my opinion, are not that comfortable, so I would give them a 7 out of 10. But these, on the other hand, are way more comfortable. Definitely a 9.5 out of 10. The next pair of shoes that I got are going to be these tie-dye Crocs, and I got them from Dick's Sporting Goods. Everybody needs a simple pair of Crocs in their life. We're going to be running around, going to get food from the calf, you know, stuff like that. So these are perfect. The next, the next pair of shoes that I got are going to be two um, Jordans. So I got the Pine Green 3s, and I also got the Tope Haze 4s. So I also ordered a pair of Moon Gray Foam Runners, which are not here yet, but that is the third pair of shoes that I got for um, going to college. I didn't get that many pairs of like actual sneakers, because if you know me personally, I love sneakers, and I have any pair of sneakers that you can think of besides the black cats. All right, so we've done clothes, we've done jeans, we've done sneakers. I think before we get into this huge sheen box that we should at least tackle the bags, right? So first, we've got a bubble pink tail fur. This is the small size. And then we also got a lavender Marc Jacobs. We just got the regular tote. This is gonna be like my everyday school bag just because it's really small and it'll fit my ipad and anything else that i need because i'm not going to be carrying a lot of like binders and notebooks folders and all that other stuff now for the moment that everyone's been waiting for since the beginning of this video we're getting into the sheen stuff before we get into the clothes and everything we're going to strictly do bags accessories and shoes so the first pair of sandals that i have are going to be these regular white sandals they just have the two straps on it me personally, I'm not a fan of sandals, but you know, you have to have a pair. The other pair of sandals that I have are going to be these black ones. These are actually really, really cute. So I'm excited to see what I'm going to wear with these. Another pair of shoes that I got from Sheen are going to be these heels. And I already know what I'm about to do with these heels. They are just, um, they're like really platformed and it gives like an old 90s look. So I'm really excited for these, really excited. So the next thing that we have is going to be this bag. So I bought this bag to go with like all my um, makeup brushes and everything. So we're gonna put that in here. It's actually pretty um, spacious and everything. So it goes like this, gets really deep. And from Sheen, I've also bought um, these hooks that you put inside of your um, closet and you can put the hangers inside the little hole so it saves a lot of space in your closet. So I've got three of these and I've also bought these pink bracelets. These are actually really cute. Like, Sorry, could you say that again? Hmm. I'm having trouble. Siri, shut So the first thing that I got is going to be this pink set of bracelets. They just look like this. These are actually really, really cute, and I'm excited to wear them. So now on to the other stuff that I got. So me personally, I am a very huge fan of things like um, necklaces. 
So I needed to buy something that was gonna give me a lot of space to put all my necklaces on, but also not take up too much space in my dorm room. So I bought these three things from Sheen. Hopefully I can get this open, but it's basically like you put it on your wall and then you can hang all of your necklaces on it and it just saves you a lot of space. So this is what it looks like. It won't let me take the whole thing off, but this is what it looks like. I got three of these and you can just hang your necklaces on each of the little hooks. So I think that that's pretty cute and just something simple that I can put onto my wall. Another thing that I got is gonna be this necklace. It's a Saturn necklace and it's just really cute and nice little necklace for you know running around or whatever. And then I also got me some um, bracelets because I have a whole arm of gold bracelets, but I don't have any silver. So I was like, let me grab some silver in case I'm ever wearing silver jewelry. So I bought this one, which has a little butterfly on it. And then I also bought this pack of three. And then I also have another um, piece of silver jewelry. It's going to be this infinity necklace. And I also bought two more of the bracelets. So I have these in black and I also bought these ones in white. This next item that I'm gonna show you, I definitely took one for the team. I'm not a really big makeup person, but I wanted to learn how to do um, easy, like everyday looks on myself. So I took one for the team and brought some makeup brushes from Sheen. Um, if anything, they're really cute, so I'll just use it for decoration. But I have this friend that I'm going to school with, and she's really into makeup. I'll put her um, in the, her YouTube right at the bottom. So she'll be teaching me how to do like easy makeup stuff. Um, just from feeling the brushes, they do feel pretty soft, and it comes with a variety. So we're going to see how this goes. So I also brought a hat. I bought this gray hat and it just says Florida Sunshine State and because it came with all my other stuff it is a bit like bent up but that's easy to fix so it's just this gray hat I'm not gonna put it on but you see mesh in the back it has the snapback so it's just a really calm thing if you're wearing like a straight wig you could just throw this on and run the clock all right now to get into all the bags and everything so the first bag that i have is going to be this lavender um travel bag it's a really really good size and i'm gonna use this for all my hair supplies so flat iron blow dryer mini flat iron hot comb um the got to be anything that could fit in here it will go in here um, just to make everything neat in my dorm room and not have everything just laying around, you know So the next bag that I have is going to be this green bag. Let me just get it open So it's going to be this green um, Faux leather bag. It has this strap in here and it's just like an over-the-shoulder bag like this You can wear it like this, you know, really really cute the next bag that I have is another lavender bag. So my colors for this year is going to be lavender, light gray, and white. So as you can, as you will see, I bought a lot of lavender and light pink things. So I got this really, really cute runched up lavender bag. It's really cute, really small, fit only the necessary stuff, you know. Can't wait to wear that. I also got this red bag here. All right, so it just looks like this and the strap is inside. It has one long strap and it has the short straps. It's almost given like tote bag, but not tote bag. So it's like this, really cute, really simple. And then I also have this orange bag. Let me get this one open. So I have this cute orange bag here. And, okay, hold on, give me a second. So this is the orange bag. It's really, really spacious, more spacious than I thought it was. It actually has a zipper inside 
and it's actually pretty deep so i like that pretty good any of these bags that i brought could be an um everyday bag for when i'm running the class it really does depend on what my outfit is and then i bought another bag and it's going to be this clear black bag that says limited edition it's really cute the straps are inside and it's actually a really big and spacious bag this can also be an everyday bag so i'm actually really liking this one and then the last bag that i bought from sheen is this um white and blue bag It is this tote bag that just says youth all along it. And this is actually really cute. You can wear it with some blue sneakers, blue glasses, anything. It's just a nice accessory piece and I really like it. So that is all for the bags and accessories that I bought from Sheen. Now we're gonna hop right into the clothes. The first piece that we got from Sheen is going to be this two piece set. On the back, it says love never fails, and it also says that on the left side of the sweatpants. So I bought a couple of winter pieces just to start shopping a little early, um, but I really like this. It's actually really soft and really warm, so it's going to be good for the winter time. So I'm going to give this a 8.5 out of 10. Alright, so this is the next shirt that I got from Sheen, and I knew that it was a risk getting this because... Sheen's extra small graphic tees be given large and I'm already small so mm, this dress I mean this shirt is feeling like a dress because it's so long but I could work with it I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 just because it is super long and really big and it's just not how oversized that I would like so this is another shirt that I got from Sheen. It's just this basic white um, cami top. Um, it has a really good material. It is just a tad bit see-through. So I would just give it like a 8 out of 10. So something else that I got from Sheen is going to be this black puffer. I know it is a bit early, but I just wanted to get it so I can have it already on campus because I'm anemic and I get cold really fast. So... It is actually a very good material. It's really thick. I like the way that it feels and it's like cropped so it doesn't go down too far. So I definitely give this a 8 out of 10. All right, so this is another shirt that I got from Sheen. And I actually really, really like this. It's not see-through at all. It took me off guard a little bit because of the faces staring back at me. But I actually really like this top. I give this a... 9 out of 10. Alright, so this is the next shirt that I have. Um, I really like it. It doesn't fit too baggy like the other one did. But I am a bit skeptical because the material is really thin. And it's almost like swimwear material. It's not really giving graphic tee. But other than the material based on like the way that it fits, I would definitely give this a 9 out of 10. So this is the next top that I got. It is just this green and tan-ish top. It has this man with the dog sitting in front of this van. Um, there's nothing on the back. It's cropped. I really like this. I already know what fit I have planned with this. So I would definitely give this a 9, 9.5 out of 10. This is the next jacket that I have. And I actually really, really like this jacket. Um, I already know what shoes I could wear with this. You guys probably seen this jacket before, but like the gray one. But I really, really like this tan one. I love the design for the butterfly, the different gems. Like I think this is really, like this is a really cute jacket. This is definitely getting a 10 out of 10 from me. This is the next piece that I got. It is just this, um, this dress. And it has these paper clips in the middle. And it's this brown orange color, which I think brown and orange really go together. So I'm actually really liking this. It fits nice. It's nice and uh, right, so this is the next dress that I have. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This is the one that I was most excited for. So it has this slit right here on the left side, and it's open in the back. This is definitely one of the my favorite pieces from Sheen. So this is definitely again a 10 out of 10 from my end. All right, so this is the next top that we got. Orange is one of my favorite colors, so I am loving this top. It ties in the back, and it's not see-through or anything. It's a good material. This is also getting a 10 out of 10 from me. So these pair of pants are the next thing that I got from Sheen. They are these gray cargo pants. 
um i wish it would fit a little bit better on the waist but it's no problem i definitely like these i already know what outfit i have in mind for them i'm definitely loving these i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten i have never bought a pair of jeans from sheen that fit this good like they're hug it's hugging my waist they're nice and tight on my legs i definitely loving these they're just these simple black ripped jeans it has rips all along the sides and it fits the waist really nice i'm definitely gonna give these a 10 out of 10. Okay, so these are the next pair of pants that i have from sheen they're just these gray and black plaid pants that have this tie in the front i'm really liking these they fit perfectly even if they didn't they have this nice tie so that you can tie them to fit however you would like them to they go all the way down to my ankles. They are really, really cute. Perfect for an HBCU. So these are another pair of pants that I got. I am loving the design on it. I'm loving the graffiti. It's amazing. I was a little shocked that these are really short on the ankles. So I am a bit surprised because I'm really short. So I wasn't expecting it to be like this. Um, it fits nice on the waist. There's nothing on the back. I would give these a... 8 out of 10. So the next thing that I got is going to be this faux leather skirt. It is fitting really nice. Um, I like that it fits my waist. Thank God for Sheen Petite. It did not have a really bad smell like other um, faux leather items I've bought from Sheen. So I'm actually really liking this. It's not too short. Has this slit on the side. So this is definitely a 9 out of 10. This is the next item that I have. It is just this brown sweatshirt. Um, it has this design on the back. It's very, very warm. It is a small, but it's not too oversized. Exactly how I like it. And it's just going to be perfect for the winter time. This is definitely going to get a 9.5 out of 10. So we also have this blue sweatshirt. It says... We also have this sweatshirt it says quiet up in the front it has this butterfly and then on the back it's like this i actually really like it i think this is really really cute this is a men's small and it doesn't even fit as big as that women's extra small graphic tee was so this is definitely getting a 10 out of 10. ignore the shirt underneath but another thing that i brought is going to be this really cute satin pink money robe it is really giving sleepover so you know if you need to do some late night runs in the dorms to get some snacks or whatever you could just throw this on and then you'll be good it's a really thin material so it's really nice definitely give this a 9 out of 10. so i'm not gonna put this one on but another thing that i got is going to be this long plaid um jacket it has some green it has some blues i think it'll really be cute for the fall you know going to a little football game or whatever i could even wear these with my pine green threes and it'll really you know look like a good fit so this is another little jacket that i got all right so here is another pair of pants that i got they're just the mom jeans they fit my waist really nice they have these rips right here in the knees and they go all the way down to my ankles which is something that i really like um i'm actually really liking the way that these fit and i cannot wait to style these so these are definitely getting a nine and a half out of ten so these are another pair of pants that i got they're just these shorts they have this cut right here and also right here and then they have these cuts on each side I really like these. They fit really nice. Thank God for Sheen Petite because I swear their clothes never fit me. These are definitely getting a 10 out of 10. So this is the next thing that I have. It's just this two-piece set. It's really simple, really cute, fits really nice. I'm going to get it an 8 out of 10. It's just something quick that I can throw on if I have to go get some food or if I'm just running to class. So I really like this. So next I have this simple red jumpsuit. Me personally, I have a lot of red shoes, so this is perfect for when I'm just going to class or running to get food, like I say, in every piece of clothing. So this is definitely really cute. I'm definitely going to get some more, some black, some gray, you know, everything like that. It's really warm and they fit really nice, so this is definitely getting a 9 out of 10. This is another top that I have, and I am holding it up at the top just because it was a bit loose. 
Um, I would give this a 6 out of 10. I would just have to find a way to clip it up in the back if I were to wear it outside. But it's really cute and I love the color. So this is the next set. I'm a really big fan of this because you know I told you guys that I love orange. It's one of my favorite colors. So it's just this top and skirt set. It's open in the middle. It's also open on the side. Um, it's really plain in the back. Nothing there. Kind of put it on inside out, but that's okay. This is definitely getting a 10 out of 10 for me. So another thing that I got was this cute little two-piece um, nice set. It is just this top with this skirt. It's really, really cute. It has the black lace up here, and it also has the black lace right here. It's silky. It's really flowy. Um, I really, really like this. Definitely a 9.5 out of 10. So then I have this dress here. It is tan, it goes right up to the neck, and it also has a slit on both sides. It also has these little beads on the um, things that dangle off of the slits. It's really, really cute, really simple. I really like this, and it's not see-through at all, so I would give this a nine out of 10. And then I have this nice, cute, simple, little pink bodycon dress. It is like mid-length, goes a little bit above the knees. It's really cute, really simple. You can dress this up or you can dress this down. It's not see-through in any way. So this is definitely a 9.5 out of 10. So this is the next dress that I got. I really, really like this material. I love how it shines. I don't know what it is about it, but this dress just looks really nice to me. The only thing that I don't like is the slits go up just a little too high. Just a little too high. But other than that, this is a really, really nice dress. So the next piece that I have is going to be this simple gray jumpsuit. It has the spaghetti stripes at the top, nothing special in the back. And it also goes all the way down to my ankles. It's just a really cute and simple piece, not too much going on. Definitely going to give it an 8 out of 10. So the next piece that I got are just going to be these simple black biker shorts. I also got them in gray. They're really cute, really simple, not see-through at all. And it has like this nice gym material. Um, I really like it. It's a nice simple piece. Definitely an eight and a half out of ten. All right, so the next piece that I have is gonna be this nice simple black dress. It has this slit on the right side, but other than that, it's just a plain simple dress. It goes all the way down to the ankles. Really good length, good material, not see-through. Definitely getting a nine out of ten. All right, so the next piece that I got is going to be this pink button-up. And it is a bit oversized, but that was the look I was going for. This was definitely a must-have because you can dress this up or you can dress this down. So the fits that I have with this is going to be crazy. I cannot wait for this. I'm definitely going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's not see-through, good material. It's breathable, won't make you hide in it. So this is definitely a must-have. Right, so these are the next two pieces that I have. So first, it's going to be this um, nice pink, purple, red mix of color graphic top. It ties in the back, really, really cute. And then the second thing that I have are going to be these flare leggings. They flare out in the bottom. They're really, really long. They fit nice. The, um, both of these pieces can definitely get a 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. All right, so this is the second to last piece that I have. It is just this romper. It is a little bit baggy, which is something that I do not like. But, I mean, it's really simple. It's really cute. Um, I feel like right now I'm giving 11 from Stranger Things, and I don't know how I feel about it. But I'll give it a 7 out of 10. This romper right here is going to be the last piece of this Sheen haul. It is open in the back nothing else special going on it's a really nice material it fits good this is also going to be one of my top favorites i'll give this a nine and a half out of ten um but yeah this is the last piece of the haul we are now at the end of our video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe also do not forget to follow me on all social medias including instagram snapchat and tiktok as well make sure you turn on the post notification so that you get notified when i post my dorm hall video and my move-in day and everything after that i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next video Me too.